Well, greetings again, back fans. This is not my shop vac. This is my father's down here in Florida. And I'm not sure what model it is. I'm going to just go by this right here. So what does it say? 8774584. Five gallon, 18.9 uh, liters, two peak horsepower. Um, if you know what a horsepower translates into uh, electrical wattage usage, it's like 746 watts per horsepower, uh, if that is constant. So uh, it's got a foam filter that I've cleaned, and it's got like a, it, it's like a sheet. It's like a blue sheet that you kind of wrap around the foam filter. And I've done that, and of course the bin is empty. And we're going to take a look at its airflow. And if I can squeeze in it here, um, some water lift. Now we are starting at 100 and, uh, 118 volts or so, and that's going to go way down. That's probably going to go down to like 110, 111. So if you have higher voltage, this shop vac will do more than what I'm going to be able to test here. And this one is a number of years old. They might not necessarily even make it anymore. I just saw this in this garage and I figured why not? I've got my test tools here. So let's see what it can do. I think the size of this orifice is two and a half inches. I didn't bring anything with me to measure it. And then we'll take a look at this little hose, which has obviously a reducer on the end to probably take it down to maybe one inch, maybe slightly over one inch. I don't have the exact measurement. So if you do, feel free to go ahead and put them in the descriptions below. All right, so we're all plugged in. This is going to be kind of weird for me doing this one-handed, but we'll see what I can actually do. All right, so this is the blower, and that's the intake. That's going to provide the airflow. So you know what? Let me do this over here in this direction. Hopefully stuff doesn't go blowing around. We'll see what we can do. All right. I don't have my calculator here, so 4705. I'll uh, put what the calculation is in the description, but you guys have seen me uh, multiply it by the um, 0 0.026099 to convert that from feet per minute. And then let's try this other side right here, see what it can do. It's probably going to end up blowing this box. <laughs> let's see what happens. You know, I better turn it around. All right, so let's reset this. All right, get back to max. Wow. All right, so 67 32 feet per minute from the blower side and uh <laughs> that's got it, it well let's just say it blows more than than it actually sucks so that's tremendous uh, maybe that's what's to be expected i suppose i thought it would be a little more even than that but that's what it is even with the cleanest filters that i can actually get in it all right so let me take a look at what the voltage is when it's running just for my own notes
All right, if you saw that, it was running a little over 800 watts. So this thing might peak when you turn it on for a few milliseconds at two horsepower, like say around 1500 watts, but it does not run at two horsepower continuous. It looks like it's a little over horsepower, uh, maybe a horsepower and a quarter. All right, now let's see if I can do some, some suction on this. This ought to be interesting. Hmm. Well, that's not going to stay. All right. Well, see what we can get. All right. It wasn't that much. So it has an awful lot of airflow, probably, I don't know, well in excess of like 125 CFM, I would guess. But I think this thing only hit like 50 inches of water lift. So it wasn't a whole lot of water lift. And let's repeat the tests, if I can, uh, using the reducer to take it down to probably around one inch. All right, that's probably about the best I can do one-handed. So about 32.48, and again, um, I'll go ahead and put the um, actual conversion in the description. So obviously quite, a, uh, quite an airflow loss when you reduce the orifice. So there's this little two horsepower shop vac, and there are some airflow measurements. Hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, happy vacuuming.